April 8. The Descendants of Boaz So Boaz took Ruth into his home, and she became his wife. When he slept with her, the Lord enabled her to become pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. Then the women of the town said to Naomi, Praise the Lord, who has now provided a Redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. May he restore your youth and care for you in your old age. For he is the son of your daughter-in-law who loves you and has been better to you than seven sons. Naomi took the baby and cuddled him to her breast, and she cared for him as if he were her own. The neighbor women said, Now at last Naomi has a son again. And they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. This is the genealogical record of their ancestor Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron. Hezron was the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Amminadab. Amminadab was the father of Nashon. Nashon was the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of David. From Judah's grandson, Hezron, to David. The sons of Hezron were Jeremiel, Ram, and Caleb. Ram was the father of Amminadab. Amminadab was the father of Nashon, a leader of Judah. Nashon was the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse's first son was Eliab, his second was Abinadab, his third was Shimei, his fourth was Nethanel, his fifth was Radai, his sixth was Azam, and his seventh was David. Their sisters were named Zuriah and Abigail. Zuriah had three sons named Abishai, Joab, and Asahel. Abigail married a man named Jether, an Ishmaelite, and they had a son named Amasa. Descendants of Hezron's son, Caleb. Hezron's son, Caleb, had sons from his wife, Azubah, and from Jeriath. Her sons were named Jasher, Shobab, and Arden. After Azubah died, Caleb married Ephrathah, and they had a son named Hur. Hur was the father of Uri. Uri was the father of Bezalel. When Hezron was sixty years old, he married Gilead's sister, the daughter of Maker. They had a son named Segub. Segub was the father of Jair, who ruled twenty-three towns in the land of Gilead. But Geshur and Aram captured the towns of Jair and also took Keneth and its sixty surrounding villages. All these were descendants of Maker, the father of Gilead. Soon after Hezron died in the town of Caleb Ephrathah, his wife Abijah gave birth to a son named Asher, the father of Tekoa. Descendants of Hezron's son, Jeremiel the sons of Jeremiel, the oldest son of Hezron, were Ram, the firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel had a second wife named Atara. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the oldest son of Jeremiel, were Maez, Jamin, and Eker. The sons of Onam were Shimei and Jada. The sons of Shimei were Nadab and Abishur. The sons of Abishur and his wife Abihail were Aben and Molid. The sons of Nadab were Selid and Apaim. Selid died without children, but Apaim had a son named Ishai. The son of Ishai was Shishan. Shishan had a descendant named Ali. The sons of Jada, Shimei's brother, were Jether and Jonathan. Jether died without children, but Jonathan had two sons named Peleth and Zaza. These were all descendants of Jeremiel. Shishan had no sons, though he did have daughters. He also had an Egyptian servant named Jara. Shishan gave one of his daughters to be the wife of Jara, and they had a son named Edai. Edai was the father of Nathan. Nathan was the father of Zabad. Zabad was the father of Ephlol. Ephlol was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jehu. Jehu was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Helaz. Helaz was the father of Elisa. Elisa was the father of Sismai. Sismai was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Jechamiah. Jechamiah was the father of Elishama. Descendants of Hezron's son, Caleb. The descendants of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel, included Mesha, the firstborn, who became the father of Ziph. Caleb's descendants also included the sons of Merisha, the father of Hebron. 
The sons of Hebron were Korah, Tepua, Recham, and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham. Raham was the father of Jorkim. Recham was the father of Shimei. The son of Shimei was Maon. Maon was the father of Bethzur. Caleb's concubine, Ephah, gave birth to Haran, Moza, and Gazes. Haran was the father of Gazes. The sons of Jada were Regum, Jotham, Gishan, Pelet, Ephah, and Sheaf. Another of Caleb's concubines, Maeka, gave birth to Sheber and Tirhana. She also gave birth to Sheaf, the father of Medmana, and Shiva, the father of Macbena and Gibeah. Caleb also had a daughter named Aksa. These were all descendants of Caleb. Descendants of Caleb's son, Hur. The sons of Hur, the oldest son of Caleb's wife, Ephrathah, were Shobal, the founder of kiriath Jerem, Salma, the founder of Bethlehem, and Hareph, the founder of beth The descendants of Shobal, the founder of kiriath Jerem, were Heroah, half the Manahathites, and the families of kiriath Jerem, the Ithrites, Puthites, Shumathites, and Mishraites from whom came the people of Zorah and Eshtael. The descendants of Salma were the people of Bethlehem, the Netophathites, Atrobeth Joab, the other half of the Manahathites, the Zorites, and the families of scribes living at Jabez, the Tirathites, Shimeathites, and Sukathites. All these were Kenites who descended from Hamath, the father of the family of Rechab. Other Descendants of Judah the descendants of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Shobal's son Reah was the father of Jahath. Jahath was the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These were the families of the Zorathites. The descendants of Etam were Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash, their sister Hazel Pony, Penuel, the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah the ancestor of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives named Hela and Nera. Nera gave birth to Ahuzam, Hefer, Timeni, and Heashtari. Hela gave birth to Zareth, Izhar, Ethnan, and Kaz, who became the ancestor of Anab, Zobiba, and all the families of Aharal, son of Haram. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. Caleb, the brother of Shua, was the father of Mir. Mir was the father of Eshton. Ashton was the father of Beth Rapha, Pesia, and Tehinnah. Tehinnah was the father of Irnahash. These were the descendants of Rekah. The sons of Kenaz were Othniel and Sireah. Othniel's sons were Hathath and Meonathai. Meonathai was the father of Ophrah. Sireah was the father of Joab, the founder of the Valley of Craftsmen, so called because they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, were Iru, Elah, and Naam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel were Ziph, Zipha, Tiria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra were Jether, Merid, Epher, and Jalon. One of Merid's wives became the mother of Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoah. He married a woman from Judah, who became the mother of Jerod, the father of Gedor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. Merid also married Bithia, a daughter of Pharaoh, and she bore him children. Hodiah's wife was the sister of Nahum. One of her sons was the father of Kelah, the Garmite, and another was the father of Eshtemoa, the Maacathite. The sons of Shimon were Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Telan. The descendants of Ishai were Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth. Descendants of Judah's son, Shelah. Shelah was one of Judah's sons. The descendants of Shelah were Ur, the father of Lika, Laeda, the father of Marisha, the families of linen workers at Beth Ashbia, Jochim, the men of Kozaba, and Joash and Seraph, who ruled over Moab and Jeshubai Lehem. These names all come from ancient records. They were the pottery makers who lived in Nataim and Gedera. They lived there and worked for the king. Elkanah and his family. 
There was a man named Elkanah who lived in Ramah, in the region of Zaph, in the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zaph, of Ephraim. Elkanah had two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. Peninnah had children, but Hannah did not. Each year, Elkanah would travel to Shiloh to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of Heaven's armies at the tabernacle. The priests of the Lord at that time were the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas. On the days Elkanah presented his sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to Peninnah and each of her children. And though he loved Hannah, he would give her only one choice portion, because the Lord had given her no children. So Peninnah would taunt Hannah and make fun of her, because the Lord had kept her from having children. Year after year, it was the same. Peninnah would taunt Hannah as they went to the tabernacle. Each time, Hannah would be reduced to tears and would not even eat. Why are you crying, Hannah? Elkanah would ask. Why aren't you eating? Why be downhearted just because you have no children? You have me. Isn't that better than having ten sons?